Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our Bootstrap Basics theme here. Yesterday we've been creating this About Us page. Yesterday we created our team members section here. What we're going to do today is add a simple static full width sort of photo strip underneath here. So let's get started. So here's our root folder that we created uh, with our files in it about us .h or about it.html which we're looking at right now, index.html which is our home page. We've got our custom style sheet that we created with our styles that dictates how our site looks. We've got a little folders with some images in it right there. I'm going to go ahead and open up our about.html in my text editor. I'm using brackets text editor today. If you don't have a text editor, brackets is absolutely free and you can download it from a link below this video. But if you've got a text editor, any text editor should do. So here's our about us.html page. Let's go down where we finished off, which should be just above the footer here. And let's create a new section. I'm not going to give this an ID because I don't think I'm going to want to scroll to it. I can always add an ID later on if I do want to. Okay, and in the middle of this section, I'm going to add another div. And I'm going to call it, or give it the class of class equals gallery. That way I can target it if I want to with some CSS. All right, and inside our gallery, we're going to put a, a row bit like we did before but we're going to have a lot more items in our row this time so we'll, we'll give it a div with a class that equals row and obviously inside this row is where we're going to put our images now you may notice I've not put a container in this one uh, so we've got a section with no container then first div so it's going to be full width you can also do that if you want to put a container in there you can put a container fluid in there but I'm not going to put anything in there it'll be full width just like that which is absolutely fine for my needs today okay so we want to put put some columns in there. I want to put a lot of columns in there. I want to put a lot of columns in there, probably six. So if you remember, Bootstrap's vis visible area is made out of 12 equal sections, whether it's full width or boxed. So to make six, it's 12 divided by two. So the columns want to be two. So let's do that. So our, our div with a class equals column medium two and if you want to learn more about rows and columns have a look at one of my other videos that specializes in rows and columns I'll put a link to that video below this I'll try to remember to all right and in our little mid to column I want to put our image but I think I'm also going to give this a different class as well so we can target it with some CSS so I'm just going to call this like mm, pick I guess pick will do picture okay so I'm going to steal that image from the top here and we'll work with that one there we are this is that image at the top of our about section I'll just steal that one and we'll add some new images in a moment All right, so we've got our first image and we've got our first of six columns there. 
I'm actually going to make 12, so it's two rows. Let's copy this 11 times. Control C. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Control V, last one, 11. So we've pasted 11 copies. Let's save this and see what it does. Um, let's get rid of that gap at the bottom there. Delete that. Control S to save our brackets here, back to our site. Let's refresh and then we should now have a section underneath here with 12, they're all gonna be the same images. They're probably gonna have a little gap between uh, in the gutters between them, but let's have a look, let's refresh. Okay, I've obviously miscounted. <laughs> I've got 11 images there, so let's add, add one more. Okay, so that we got a gutter there. That's fine. We can either get rid of that if we want them all joined together. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let's go back to our HTML here and add one more because I obviously can't count. Control C to copy, drop down, Control V to paste. Now we've given these the class of pick so I can actually target them individually with some CSS if I want to customize them so let's save this back to the site make sure we got our 12 now there we go and I'm using Google Chrome here and I'm just going to use the inspector and I'll show you how to get rid of these gaps here if you want to or add more gaps so if I just right click and inspect, like I say, I'm using Google Chrome. This is all built in. If you've got the elements tab highlighted on one of them, it'll show you HTML styles tab on the other side. It'll show you the CSS and I'm kind of looking. Oh, there it is right there. It's actually in our column here. We've got a bit of padding, which is giving that gap. Let's just pull this up so you can see it. So you see the green line either side that's a bit of padding or margin probably padding um, so we probably just want to get rid of that well, that's, that's the same one right there so let's have a look down here yeah there is 15 picks either side right and left if you take that away there you've got a sort of full width strip that you kind of see that quite often with no joins either side which is cool so if you want to do that make this permanent we've got a class of pick right here let's go to our CSS let's refresh this because Google Chrome once you do that refresh it, it'll go back to how it was let's go back to our custom CSS this time let's add a new title and we'll call it gallery forward slash star star forward slash anything between the two stars will not be read as code by the browser and it just headings just make it so much easier to um, find stuff I mean we've only just started on this site we've got 300 odd lines of code you may have 2,000 3,000 lines by the time you finish the site so titles are quite handy all right okay so what do we want to do well, we've given our images a class of pick. So if we want to take that gap away, let's go back there. Okay, so we, it's class dot, name of the class is pick. Let's open, close some curly brackets, drop down, and let's say padding, colon, zero and that should take away that padding there let's have a look control s to save back to our site let's refresh there we go and that's padding's gone that's if you want your pictures in one big block like that which like i say you see that quite often it's quite a nice little thing but obviously you want different images but i'm going to have a little space between mine i think and a bit of top and bottom gap and I might put a title in there so I'm actually going to add a bit of padding so let's go back and I'm going to make that padding 
let's make it 10 pixels so it'll have 10 pixels all around each image so that will give it 20 20 pixels spread basically control s back to the site refresh there we go that's pretty much what I want I'd like to see a bit of a gap either side as well so what we'll do with that in our row we'll use one of the bootstrap classes if I go to the HTML this time here's our row let's add the class of say margin left 3 M for margin L for left dash 3 these little classes go from 1 to 5 1 being the least amount 5 being the most and it's 5 watts and 3 watts it's I think it's M's and I think the default is 16 picks but I think it I think it depends on whatever the default size of your paragraph font is so let's have a look we've got margin left 3 and margin right 3 now on our row so that should give it a little bit of space either side control s to save and refresh there we go that I might take that down to two let's take that down to two control s to save back refresh yeah that looks a bit more like it okay so I don't want all the same images so let's get some images and change them out so here's our folder here's our images folder what I'm going to do is get a bunch more images and put them in here there we go and I've just put uh, 12 new images in here and I've called them G1 through G12 really imaginative names and as you can see mine are about 500 by 347 quite small low file size which is fine because these don't pop out to a light box or anything so small file sizes are absolutely fine so let's populate with our new images that we got here and for anybody that's interested I got those all off of a site called unsplash.com which is free stock photos there's loads of free stock photos places out there but unsplash is pretty good okay so we called them G1 through G12 so all I need to do is change the names here G and it's found it already there's G1 let's put G2 in here G2 and I've skipped forward here no point you watching me put all these uh, images names in it's perfectly simple just put your new image names in there we go so I've put all my new images in now let's save control s and go back to the site refresh there we are and there's our new images in there right well I'm quite happy with that really it's just a little image strip demonstrating some of the technology perhaps that the company does how about we use our gap 100 and give it a gap at the top we could even add a little title so let's go ahead and do that just to put the cherry on the cake right here make it look a little bit better so okay here's our gallery let's give it the gap 100 and for those of you that have not been following along I created a class of gap 100 in my custom CSS which gives a section padding of I think I've gone up too far uh, 70 picks top and bottom let's find it there it is uh, which gives a space of 70 picks top and bottom and none left and right that's why I put that class in there so I automatically give it a bit of spacing save that control s all right and let's put a title in below something like world technology leaders or i don't know something like that something technological okay so i'll put a div 
and I'm going to get the class a text center because we want our text to be centralized in the middle of our page. Let's close that one out. And in between, I'll give it our H2 class, which we've already got styles for that as well. Have a look at earlier videos if you want to follow along with that. And I'm not going to give it a class. I'm just going to leave it as is. I can give it a class if I decide I want to do something with it. Let's say leaders. Yeah. Leaders in technology. I don't know. I managed to miss an N off there. Okay. And it's like I've got more gaps in there. Let's save that and just see what we've got there. Control S to save back to our site. Now when I refresh, we should have a 70 pixel gap top and bottom of this section and we should have a little title in there as well. There we go, fantastic. Just what I was looking for. So that's pretty easy and it's pretty effective, nice looking little gallery. Like I say, these are static, they don't pop out. We may use a light box in further videos. Um, or if you're looking for a light box, have a look at some of my other videos just to put a light box search in. We have done videos before with pop up light boxes and models and what have you. So there you have it. That is how to add a simple photo strip to your website. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment and share. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.